So I'm here with Stephen Smith. He's just picked out a piece of willow from the cleft shed, and we're going to make one of his uh, famous New Balance 1080 bats. How do you feel about that, Stephen? No, it looks like a, a very good cleft of timber. I think that's what they call them. Uh, the grains look really nice. Bit of two-tone in the wood. So yeah, hopefully it's got a few runs in it. Two-tone, close grain, everything you're looking for. That's right, yeah. Now it's just about making it into a cricket bat and going out and doing the business. As you've been doing for us <laughs> so well for so long. Brilliant. Let's go and make a bat. Let's do it. So Stephen's chosen his piece of wood that we'd like to make a bat out of. I'm going to hand it over to Poan who is in charge of the English Willow bat making department and we're going to proceed from there. So Steve, what they're going to do here is they're just going to shape and size the cleft yep. so that the bat maker then has got the right tools to work it. Okay. So, there are a couple of machines. I'll go through this one, another one, and then one that also just shapes the face slightly. Yep, okay. So this one is just cutting it to the... Yeah, so you'll take a bit off each side. Yep. Make sure that dimensionally it's good for the bat maker. Yep. That's a bit of either side. Looks good. Yeah. Nice shape on it. Very good. The whole bat gets the same compression on it. Yep. If you leave it too flat, and then you, or if you if you press the edges, they've already been knocked, so to speak. Okay. Right. So what he's going to do here is going to cut off an end on either side, yep. just to check for moisture. Okay. Anywhere between eight and twelve percent moisture means that the cleft can be used to make a bat. Yep. Outside of that, no good. Start again. You've got to see the moisture content inside. Okay. Nice. Good. Right, looks like okay. it's okay. <laughs> let's, let's go and choose a handle. Okay. So Steve, here we've got some handles that have been pre-made to roughly what your specs are. Yep. Much of a muchness, not much to choose from between any of them. They're all as you like them, so pick one that's, hopefully it's a very lucky and yeah. the bat that we're going to make uh, ends up, you end up scoring thousands of runs with it. I think this one will be good. Traditional go. oval handles, so yeah, I think this is the right one. There we go. Move Handle on. chosen, let's move on. So basically, this machine, um, in order for the handle to be put in, it, it, the, you need it to be cut to the splice, the V shape that you see. Yep. So this machine basically holds the handle still, sends it down the blade. You'll flick it around and cut the handle so that it's got a nice V shape. Okay. Is 
they've got a standard, so the machining for that and the machining that cuts the cleft yep. are exactly the same. So they're set, yeah. Yeah, so. So never any thing. handles out of, out of whack. Can't, can't straight in the middle. Yeah, straight in the middle. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna make that insertion into the cleft for the handle to fit into it. Okay. Off we go. Starting to look good. Yeah, it is, yeah. There'll be some gluing and a whole lot of other things, processes, yep. and then some shaping and... Lovely. Off we go. So, so now that the handle's in, you have to shape the shoulders of the bat. Okay. So that's what this machine is doing now. See, it's got... Oh, uh, yep. Yep. Very good. Both sides. Nice and even. Equal, equal. Perfect. Fantastic. Very good. Another step completed. We're getting closer to having that special bat made. That's it. <laughs> awesome. So Stephen, we've got to the bat shaping process now. This is the bat that you've sent back to us as one of your special favorites. We use this in the bat shaping department as a reference for every bat that we send out to you. What about this bat makes it so special for you? I think it's a a very special bat to me. Um, I scored my first one day international 100 with this bat. Um, I scored a couple of other hundreds with this as well. I think I got one in West Indies, 199. As you can see by all the cherries on the bat from the, the red ball there in the West Indies. Um, but for me, it's, it's just a great shaped cricket bat. It's a very full throughout the middle here. Um, it's, it's very evenly weighted um, and the handle is, is perfect. Um, so everything about this bat is, is great. It, it looks very wide when I look down at it, which is something that's important to me and makes you feel like you've got the confidence when you go out in the middle that you're going to score runs. So it looks like this bat here that this young man's making for me is coming along in the, the same lines as this and hopefully it can serve me just as well as this bat did. Well, let's certainly uh, hope that that trend continues and this one serves you even better. Let's hope so. Fantastic. Right, so Steve, to me this looks like a belter. I think uh, the selection process has been very kind to us. Um, the cleft has produced what I think is going to be a very special bat. Hopefully as we go through and give it a few pings just now, proves to be the case. We've got the grain that you're looking for. We've got that slight bit of red in it as well that you like. And from my perspective, bat shape has got it perfect. He's got your weight right. How yeah, do you feel? What do you looks, think? It looks spot on. Um, you know, obviously I chose the bat because I liked the two-tone. I liked what it looked like. Um, and the finished product looks perfect. It looks, the shape's exactly as I like it. Um, the weight feels just right. Um, it's around 2.9, between 2.9 and 2.10. Um, and I think it's got pretty good ping as well. I test it with my finger now most of the time. If I feel like it's kicking back, then it's going okay. Give it a few whacks. But then Let's I give it a whack thing. with the mallet as well. And yeah, the middle's certainly bouncing off and that's what you want in a cricket bat, to, to have the confidence to know that if you want to hit one for six, you're a good chance of doing so. So this is the perfect bat and hopefully it serves me well. Great, job done. Let's go and get it stick it up. So Stephen, we've got down to a table where all the components used to make a pair of gloves and all the components used to make a pair of pads are laid out. If I said to you to guess, how many components do you think go into a pair of gloves and a pair of pads? Give me a number. I'll say 50 for gloves and 50 or 70 for, for pads. So um, clearly there's a side to manufacturing that nobody who looks at gloves really anticipates. The correct number for gloves is anywhere around about 230, 240. Wow. And pads, strange enough, even higher, around about 270, 280. Wow, on pad to pad and glove to glove. It's amazing. So when you consider that and that they all individually have to go together, 
to make a pair of gloves. I don't think that many people understand quite the job that the stitches go through in order to end up with the glove. So Stephen, I've got our DC 1080 here with us. Um, what about a glove appeals to you and what makes you like our 1080 so much? I think for me, it's just important that the glove's light um, and, and fits really well on your hand and, and is comfortable. So, um, you know, I'm not too fussy about my gloves, um, but these do a terrific job. The, the leather's really nice. When we wrap it around the handle of the bat, everything feels good. It's, it's really light, so it enables you to bat for a long period of time and you feel safe in it. Um, it's got this, I think, plastic that's in the- Yes, it is plastic. In the, the glove here on the, the index finger. So, you know, that's the finger you really need to look out for. So you feel um, safe and yeah, it's a good glove to wear. Thank you. Very nice. So Steve, we are, we are at the stickering process now. Your bat's ready. Just the final touches and then we should be good to go. Terrific. See the new, new range of stickers. Uh, they look very good, so nice colours, they look sharp, so happy with that. Glad you like them, uh, we like to make sure that our cosmetics are trending and right up there with what's happening in sport current. Beautiful. The whole process seems to have gone very smoothly from selection of the willow, I mean that went down without a hitch. Yeah, and it looks, looks like it's coming together really nicely. The, the bat looks beautiful, everything looks good with it, and I'm sure it's going to look just the same and, and hopefully be very successful once it's finished in the stickering process. Sure, you'll make sure that it is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's quite surprising how much detail is required. And this is just on the stickers. Yeah. Consider everything that goes into a bat. And what's this they're taking off here? Is this the, just to so keep that, it? That's just a protective film so that if the stickers are being transported around, yep. that they don't get scratched. Okay. And they look a bit brighter when they come much off. Much brighter, it? yeah. It looks like a different sticker. Yeah. Thank you. Great. There you go, Steve. The process of your latest DC 1080 done and dusted. Hope you're very happy with it. It looks great. The, the stickers look amazing. The shape of the bat looks beautiful. The weight's great and it feels perfect. So hopefully ready for some big runs. Happy that you like the cosmetics. We've spent a lot of time and effort going, making sure that our cosmetics tie up. Do you want to just try those on and see what you think in terms of pulling the whole thing together? Yeah, they obviously match. Um, pretty important for your gear to match. So same colors, feel nice, comfortable, and hopefully they'll work well together. They go with your shirt as well. Added bonus. That's right. Fantastic. It's great. All good. Happy days. Go well. Thanks.